Hello there, everybody. Welcome to a brand new anti-birth series. This, this this is what you just call like massive mistake, dude. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do lost streaking, something that I have actually never done on YouTube before. Uh, there's there's a I'm not gonna put it at a hundred, okay? But I will put it at like close to a hundred uh, percent chance that I I probably likely just lose this run in among itself but it look many of you are critical about my son of a gun dude uh many of you are critical about my my eyes of play so this is my opportunity uh prove the haters wrong let's let's see if we can do let's get a little hud action in there i couldn't remember what the button was which is not a good sign for this video uh let, let let's see you know let's see let's see what we can do i told you i was probably gonna do a uh well, that's just horrifying, right? Um, I'm I'm actually going to take it. There's a couple of reasons why I would take it here. Uh, main one being the access to bombs on this floor. I think that that holds a lot of value to have bombs on this floor, uh, because then we can come in here, which could end up being a crawl space. Plus, the secret room is probably it's not right there. Never mind. Okay, it's a bad crawl space too. Okay, and it's a full health pill. It, everything is terrible, dude. It just everything sucks in this scenario. Uh, but you know what? We made we made our our bed. Now I will lie in my bed and go to sleep, and we'll see what the hell happens on this run. But I, I wanted to do something different. I know I said we were gonna do the Eden streaks. Uh, I had a couple of comments that were like, Tyler, just just try some some lost streaks. You know what? I got no reason not to, right? I got no reason not to. I don't want to stop playing anti-birth. Uh, and, and trust me, I saw the comments on, on the last video that was you know, technically the finale of the anti-birth series. Uh, you guys don't really want me to stop anti-birth either, and that, that's absolutely uh, respectable. We're having a ton of fun uh, playing, playing anti-birth right now. So why the hell would we stop, right? Okay. Dude, you think there? Do you think a good pill exists on this run? Do you, do you really think that a good pill exists anywhere on this run? Because it sure ain't proven that to be the case. My lord. Okay, booster pack into a Joker on the first floor is is spicy. Okay, now now we're cooking with gas, dude. It's friggin' Damocles. Okay, now now we're cooking with with something. For sure. Why is it that every run that I get Libra, I get uh, Damocles as well? Well, it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a spicy one today. Now, ain't it? It's gonna be a real freaking spicy one. Uh, if you if you don't like hot sauce, it's not the run for you. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, damage 3.86, rate of fire nine. What's gonna happen as a result of this? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna freaking happen as a result of this. You're gonna watch as uh, I annihilate the rest of this run. Now this is this is pitifully bad right there. Um, but you know what? The the range up wasn't all stats up. That gave us plus 0. 0.52 damage from picking up our range up. Oh baby, that is what. I like to call spicy as all hell. Uh, am I going to do the anti-birth floors during the, the loss streak? That's a great question. Uh, I think I am. I, like, I think there's no reason not to. Um, am I going to do the witness on every single run? That is a, is a lower likelihood, I think. You know, I feel like I'm more likely to, to not run, you know, the witness while I'm, while I'm loss streaking. Just because, like, dude, the witness is, is hard. I'll do it on some runs. Like, this run, automatically, I feel like we, we have a higher chance of beating the witness on this run than most other runs that we will end up with here. But, um, we'll see, right? I think it's, it's definitely something that is a case-by-case -case basis uh, and not something that I need to be, uh, that I need to be deciding right here, right now, right? I think we can kind of treat it like a, uh, a sometimes type thing so keep in mind with Damocles if you don't know what this item does uh, it's a spicy one it, it makes it where when we get hit a timer starts uh, and that timer yo I'll, I'll use forget me now baby forget me now forget me now forget me now 
Okay, we we will use forget me now. Uh, that was a that was a Hall and Oates reference. Philly forget me now. Many of you, I mean, you probably have no idea what that song freaking is, but that's okay. Um, it also, I mean, it's actually fairly recent. You might know it. It features a, a young band called Train. Not sure if you ever heard Train. Train's not that good either, to be blunt. Uh, and look, Hall and Oates is a great band. A little man eater, a little. You making my dreams come true. Ooh, 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 do, 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 do. Well, well, oh, you. Oh, yeah. You making my dreams come true. Do, 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 do. Okay, the tears down pills can really. They can stop any day of the week, dude. Uh, okay, where, where were we? Were we anywhere? Were we everywhere and nowhere all at once? Damocles. I was talking about what the hell that does. Uh, oh, you suck, dude. You're just the worst. You are quite literally terrible. Okay. All things are good in this life. How could you be upset about anything in this life? It's, it's, it's this son of a gun, dude. You know what? I'm out. Instead of, instead of taking the risk... And, and now it's Downpour XL. I can't even begin to comprehend how the hell that works. But we ended up getting way more item rooms out of Forget Me Now here than, uh, than before. Which is okay by me. I'm, I'm actually not complaining. This, this kind of... Oh my god, dude. We got... How? I'm... 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 My brain is broken? I think? Very, very confused. Very confused. Bot fly and leech. There are about 8,000 rocks in this room, so these guys are gonna, they're gonna go be here for a while. I love he's freaking flying to the middle of scenic nowhere to grab his rocks. Hey, get, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> a weird, weird situation for me to be in. Uh, but anyway, Damocles doubles all the items that you get, which is why we got Botfly there, because we technically got Leech from the thing, but it had to give me another item, so I think it probably just picked a random one, uh, and gave us Botfly, but doubles all the items that we get, and in return, uh, we, we have a pretty, pretty high chance of just dying at any random point as soon as we get hit, um, which turns the run into a massive race to reach the finish line before... Damocles falls and murders you. Uh, but as the lost, we we kind of can't take hits anyway. So we're in a situation where uh, the item is just purely good for us. Uh, and that is that is fantastic for me. So I don't remember what the hell that item does on the left, so I'm gonna hit you with the I'm gonna hit you with a platinumgod.co.uk and I'm going to go to here and it is it hurts. Taking damage causes Isaac to fire a circle of tears around them. Okay, I'm done. there's no reason to do that. I'll take Gemini. We, we can't take damage for the freaking lost. So, uh, useless item as the lost. Pretty, pretty piss poor item room, if I'm being real. But keep in mind, we do still have another one that we can get here on this floor. Since we are on an XL floor. And you're getting the choice of four items because Anti-Birth obviously gives you the choice of two. And then Damocles is giving you an extra item there. So if you're a little bit confused as to why we have so many item choices, is Damocles. It's, it's, it's an insanely good item for the Lost. <laughs> Which is why it's, it's, a, it's a strange blessing that we got it here on the first run. If I botch this one, then, then I botch this one. And everybody is sad, but... I mean, this, this is about as strong as you can get as the Lost in Anti-Birth. Um, I mean, we're, we're just sitting in a, in a very, very good situation on this one. So anyway, right, the, right this second, smack the like button if you like the idea of doing some Lost streaking in, uh, in Anti-Birth. You guys have been showing a ton of support uh, on the channel recently, so I, I appreciate it. Big thank you to you guys. I'm, I'm excited to do a little uh, Lost Streak, and you know what, if the Lost Streaking goes poorly, I'm, I'm gonna just switch to Eden Streaking and Anti-Birth. So it's really not, it's a no harm, no foul kind of scenario. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a lot to drag me away. I mean, we could take Stopwatch and just win, but 
Um, that seems that seems weak, to be honest. And I'm not I'm not weak, but I'm weak. But but I'm not weak. And what's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I'm stronger than your girlfriend's dad. But I look. It, 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 it's early in the day on a beautiful Sunday, right? Okay. Well, PhD is disgusting on this floor, so I have to take that. Um, then... Then, I guess, give me Virgo. Virgo is PhD, though, so I probably should have just done Virgo and Daddy Long Legs. That, that's short-sighted. Um, but then again, I also didn't know... I didn't know what... Which two were connected, right? But that's okay. Uh, why is why is PhD and Virgo so good on this floor? We got tears down pills out the ass on this floor, um, which are now tears up pills, which are also all stats up pills. So it's like real freaking good to to go and snag all those. They're they're literally everywhere. Um, I mean, there were even more on the last floor, but we'll snag this one too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very very good. Uh, there's our secret room, which is a little bit of bomb action, a little bit of money action. Do I want all the knife pieces? Like, is this a witness run? I might as well take them. Like, there's nothing... There's nothing hurting me taking the, uh, the knife pieces on this run. But do I necessarily need them? No. Okay. Damage is doing okay. Rainmaker is probably the easiest thing that I could be fighting here. Beautiful. Oh, this this is good. This is good. Big all stats up. And another big all stats up. Okay, six rate of fire, eight damage is spicy. Uh, this is where you would love to see Lump of Coal. You did get Oculus Rift from it. Okay, that's fine. I don't need Krampus's head. So that was since we since we got an item there. It also gave us a free item because of Damocles. Uh, which is just, I mean, how can you be upset about that? Small rock? Not small rock. Dude, you know it's going to come out one of these days. And guess what? One small rock comes out, another friggin' item comes out of it. Because Damocles is friggin' nuts, dude. Is nuts. Okay, fate is 1,000% worthless. Um, we, we have pretty much zero reason to take it. But... That's okay. You know what? A useless item here and there. I think we've gotten a good chunk of value on this run. The the boss rooms in general is where the the true benefit lies with Damocles. Um, especially when we have Libra, right? Because I do think we've reached the point where, where Libra has helped us enough on this run to merit taking it. Okay. Little scary, dude. Little scary. Because we, we did lose our Holy Mantle charge. I'm going to have Philly forget me now. Stuck in my head for the rest of the day, by the way. Hope you're happy, game. It was a clutch forget me now play, too. Um, I do genuinely think that we we made the very, very correct decision in using forget me now in that Wormwood fight. I think I probably would have would have died in that room. Did also just get hit in this room. The, the mines are way harder than than most other floors. Yikes, dude. I, I can't take Strange Attractor. I really can't. Um, that That's a that's a very poor item room for us. But, uh, that's life, dude. Honestly, that's life. Yeah, sometimes it's not going to be the best item room you've ever had. Okay, pills are good. Um, I'm looking for... Though none of those are, are tears up pills. Shot speed up is fine. I mean, the I can see forever. Do we want blank card? I'm not actually sure we want blank card, even on the cheap. Well, no, nah, we, we probably want blank card. Um, and then I also am totally fine with Voodoo Head for more curse rooms. Because all that's really going to do for us is give us more opportunities to, like, get guppy or something like that. Uh, I think there's enough value there to to be happy. There's our small rock, which is still an all stats up. No, it's actually an all stats down. Wow, dude, the speed downgrade from it is enough to, to make it an all stats down. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. It wasn't that big of a, a stat downgrade, so I'm not gonna 
sit here and lose sleep over that. But, um, I, and my disappointment is a little bit high, right? Running into a fire is also not a, not a great way to, to succeed in this game. Hey, buddy. Hello. You're dead. First room. Got me? Got Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Well, that is just... Ain't that something. Okay, we're one away from Guppy, and we're the lost uh, on Devil Deals right now. Not saying we got, like, a, a pretty much guarantee of of getting Guppy on this run, but... My freaking lord, dude. It's spicy. I mean, it is definitely... That falls under the spice range. We're going to grab a question of the day here in a second. I've been very not diligent with my questions of the day in recent videos. Uh, that is that is my bad. I know you guys enjoy them. It just sparks some good conversation. So I'll I'll snag one shortly. Let, let's get to the boss fight, beat the boss, and then we'll we'll get a nice question for today. Dude, Adel Kama or whatever that item is, um, the one that's giving me the trail of guts behind me, I don't actually like that item because it obstructs my vision because the tears are the same as enemy tears. It's kind of terrible. Um, but that's okay. It's just, uh, just a poor complaint. I shouldn't even be opening Tinted Rocks anymore, actually. There's there's really no reason for me to. So, uh, This is an XL floor, dude. We have another item room on this floor. Okay. I completely 100% forgot. Okay, uh, that's, that's a really poor devil deal in the end, but that's okay. This could be a sketchy fight for me. I'm probably going to be a little bit uh, trigger happy with the telepills, depending on how things go here. But it is looking like we are not going to have any issues defeating this guy. Okay, that went, that went phenomenal. Uh, we also get perfection on this floor, which I, why in the world have we not gotten perfection before, to be fair? But that's okay. Uh, good damage up. HP does nothing. Devil Deal contains a pact. I mean, you, you have to be happy about that. And uh, obviously, Dark Bum is pretty terrible as the Lost. Um, literally no reason to take Dark Bum. Like, genuinely, there is zero reason to take Dark Bum, but... Uh, the pact is good enough, and, and that's all thanks to uh, Damocles for giving us it. Since that was our, our free item in there. Also, I am I am realizing something that is that is maybe not good for the run. Um, because of our 10 luck, Oculus Rift procs uh, close to every time. Which means, okay, this this is maybe not good. Chat, this is maybe not good. Okay, so that is the curse D6, right? Which is, it re-rolls items, but has a chance to just disappear. The rest of these are not that good, so I'm going to be real. We're going to do this. I'm going to take almond milk. <laughs> okay. And then, I guess I'll take headless baby. You might be like, Tyler, you removed blank card. Yeah, but like, are you seeing this? <laughs> this seems okay, to be fair. This seems okay. Okay, let me get let me get a question of the day so we can, uh, I don't know, do something with our life. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snag a freaking random. Um, never mind. I'm gonna continue to go back to the very beginning. Dude, there's so many questions in the chat now. It's, it's insane. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Have you ever thought about going back and doing more Isaac or other roguelites top tens that aren't about fruit? Let's talk about that. Uh, I think that's a good question. Probably not a super thought-provoking one, but allows me to speak my mind a little bit on this because, I mean, to be fair, a lot of people have asked this question uh, time and time again. So I'm good. I'm good to at least answer it. Do I really want to go to Mausoleum, dude? Yes, I might as well. It's fine. Uh, will I do more top tens for Isaac or other games? The answer to that question is, um, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Uh, 
here here's here's where issues lie with top tens okay um because i i know what you're gonna say you know, tyler pretty much all your your top videos on the channel are top tens uh so what's what's stopping you from capitalizing on that success uh and just pouring pouring all your time into making top tens oh this is just horrible uh i will not take cursed eye on this one because with two rate of fire it's actually probably i mean one it's detrimental to the health of my fingers to, to take it um but i here's what here's why i wouldn't do more top tens okay um one they're they're very time consuming to make i mean one top 10 is upwards of probably like 10 hours or so to make that that video whereas you know this anti-birth video is going to take me hell at the speed that we're going uh, another like 10 minutes and then i render it and upload it kind of thing whereas a top 10 is is a significantly larger amount of time now uh, that larger amount of time is then made up for with the views that the video gets top 10s are popular people like people like to see people's opinions on things like a lot and, and it's mainly because people like to yell at people's opinions of things uh which is the other reason as to why i don't really like making top 10s anymore it was something i used to really enjoy doing because i one i mean can't deny the views are good and so you you feel the need to to get that quick boom okay no 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 that trinket i somebody told me never take that trinket so i i think i am afraid enough to uh never take that trinket but um top tens top tens bring out a different side of communities uh because basically it's a bunch of angsty people that think they know a lot about the game they're playing and and do no oh my god dude the tears in the room are insane uh and in a lot of cases those people do know a lot about the game they're playing you know but they like to make their opinions known in sometimes the least ideal ways you know um so it's it's the guy who when i put you know when i make a top 10 soy milk synergy video it's it's the guy who goes into the comments and goes why in the world would you make a top 10 soy milk video when soy milk's bad? It's like, you know, that's a great question, but have you considered just not asking it before? Like, has that crossed your mind? Uh, it's the people that, you know, oh my god, dude, we got magic friggin' skin as the lost. This is just free items every time we pop it, and with Damocles, it's even more free items every time we pop it. So now that we used it, I can probably Eternal D6 these, get Magic Skin again, okay, and it's going to have a full charge, which I then pop and turn into more items. Now we are in a shop, so we should probably be a little bit cautious here. Um, let me pop it out here, which gives us Rubber Cement and Undefined. I mean, that's just, I can't even begin to comprehend what the hell to do with that. Uh, it, dude, it's a mess. This run is a, a absolute mess are you seeing what the run looks like it's a mess um so basically what what i'm saying is top tens the the comments get really toxic <laughs> um and i i reached a point in my youtube career where i'm kind of getting the views that i i want on my channel you know is it always good to have more views sure but do i really care about where my views are sitting right now not not really holy hell dude this is so much crap in here my head's like spinning looking at all this we'll take this we'll take this we're obviously also going to take juice of shadow just because it's a lost streak dude does not mean that i feel obligated to end the run as the lost um i just gotta start the run as the lost so in the end um we're now we're now in a position where we have an extra life and that extra freaking life is judas's shadow which is disgustingly good. Uh, we will go down here. But I'm not really at a point in my life where, where I, I need to make top 10 videos for views. Which is kind of why I used to do them, right? Uh, do I still enjoy making top 10 videos? Yeah, I actually do. Um, 
because believe it or not i actually enjoy editing <laughs> i know that, that that strikes probably many of you as confusing because i basically i don't do a ton of editing in my videos but whenever i do a, a big video i really really enjoy my time editing that video which is why i end up pouring so much time into it you know like like i said the 101 facts about minecraft <laughs> facts about minecraft facts about isaac video look my brain is is turned off today um that video took me like a month to edit because i wanted to make sure that it was perfect um so it, it's it's difficult because you know i want to do more top tens but is it worth the the pain and suffering of reading the comment sections after the fact the answer is normally not really right i know that i can make more interesting and better content um than my top tens to begin with and still pull close to the same views uh doing it you know these anti-birth videos pull down a lot of views for my channel and they're significantly easier for me to make um so why would i not just make more anti-birth videos right and then you run into the situation where you know sometimes if i'm not feeling playing anti-birth I, I just want to play other games and a lot of people a lot of people on the out okay what the hell does soy milk even do dude we already have almond milk i think this soy milk has to hurt us here like there's no way that taking soy milk results in in more stat upgrades does it i mean that you have to look now right Okay, it, correct. It was indeed a stat downgrade. I don't really care. We have, we have two rate of fire, 26 damage on this run. Um, and we're getting two items every six rooms. So it's not like I'm, I'm really all that concerned about our run. Uh, I'm, I'm fine to experiment for the sake of science here. But, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me, Tyler, why, why don't you just only play isaac on your channel it's it's blatantly clear that that's what gives you the most views and that's a lot of people don't understand that as a content creator sometimes you're not interested in what makes the most views sometimes you're interested in what makes you the happiest right and people don't seem to understand that because they think you know, they see me sitting here playing Isaac and they think, well, he's having the time of his life. He's pulling down massive views. Those views mean everything and, and life is good. But in reality, I mean, are, are YouTube views nice? Of course. I, I love seeing my videos perform well on YouTube. But is sitting and playing Isaac all day long worth that to me? And the answer is not really. You know, I want to play Monster Train and I want to play Civ 6 and I want to play um all of these other videos are all the all these other games that uh, we, we, we've been doing series on because in the end I'm, I'm doing youtube because i like having fun doing youtube um this isn't my job i've said this a million times uh youtube is not my job i if if youtube was my job then i would maybe be doing more isaac right because isaac makes makes the money Whereas Civ 6 is not making me a whole hell of a lot of money. That said, the Civ 6 series, th this is where things get, get interesting, right? Because I can't even see what's in the freaking room, dude. Um, look at all the spiders we have because of uh, because of Infestation 2. It's absolutely nuts, man. Um, what, one of the driving factors as a content creator is, is having people watch those other series and having them tell you how much they enjoyed it. You know, it, it's going into the comments on the Civ 6 series and seeing the people say, uh, you know, we know this isn't your most popular series, but this is the most fun I've had watching your content. Right? Uh, and that that's awesome to me. Um, and, and it's very, very enjoyable to read those kinds of comments. Now we're guppy to... Okay. Okay. I think we're going to be okay on this run since we just murdered mom's heart in about three and a half milliseconds it's chill we'll continue down um 
But li life isn't always about views on YouTube. It's about my own personal enjoyment and the enjoyment of the people watching my videos. Um, you know, I also got a comment the other day that that was when I was when I uploaded the uh, the bomber grounds video. Which, if you haven't seen it, you know, I'm not saying go watch it, but it is me playing a furry battle royale with my face cam on, and it's hilariously kind of bad but the game's like really good <laughs> at the same time uh and i think it's probably one of my funnier videos i've put up in in 2020 uh, everybody loved it one guy commented on it and i'm calling you out specifically and he commented with wow two uploads today D do you know that i've been uploading two usually three videos a day for the past like three months but a lot of people don't check their sub box, and they only see what YouTube recommends to them. Well, what YouTube recommends to you guys is my Isaac stuff, because that's the only stuff that gets views. When in reality, I'm uploading a lot of other content that isn't Isaac related. So you, you run into this never-ending loop of people going, well, Tyler, if you don't want to play Isaac, don't play Isaac. Well, when I don't play Isaac, YouTube doesn't recommend my content to you guys. Which means that I'm then struggling. But then you go, well, you should just be happy that you're playing video games. And it's like, okay, sure, but I also, you know, I am kind of running a pseudo business here. I'm gonna, dude, I actually died. Huh, that's interesting. Um, well, we are now Blue Baby. Not that I really care. That was just one of those rooms you get, you get stuck. Uh, there's not much you can do about it. Wow, this guy ate all of my flies pardon me oh my god dude we've used magic skin so many times we died <laughs> wow wow honestly i can't think of a better way to go that's hilarious oh my god that's so good that is so good okay well that that run was cursed man that run was cursed. Uh, we will absolutely try again for the lost streak and, and get off to a, a better start than this one. Um, wow. So apparently, so I mean, that that's really good to know moving forward. I did not think that magic skin worked like that. I didn't know that it carried over to your next character. Huh. Interesting, dude. Well, nonetheless, that was a very fun run. We had a nice discussion. Um, just going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, much appreciate all your support on the Anti-Burst series. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.